Hey, what's up everybody? Um, last weekend, I got to go watch some college softball. The first weekend of college softball. It's always a really, really fun weekend. It's always a really exciting weekend for those of us who don't play anymore and for when I was playing, it was a really exciting, really fun time. Um, so something that I noticed was, what are the, gr the, what are the college level girls doing? Okay, what are the college girl, oh my gosh, the college level girls doing that the, the younger girls need to take notice and that, you know, what are those things that are going to get them to that level? What are the things that are really important at that level that they can start doing even now, right? Even when they're a little bit younger. Um, I'll never, and like I went in and I was like, Every year when I go to this this first tournament, which um, I go to the ASU tournament because Northwestern usually comes and plays, and it's really fun for me to go um, see the coaches, see the team play, and I'll just like, every time I go to those fields over the weekend, I will never forget my, my very first college game ever. Um, <laughs> I'll never forget that I got to, when I when I found out I was gonna be the starting catcher for the first game against Oklahoma, which was crazy, right? Because Oklahoma was so good and they're still very, very good. Um, they're they a top, top notch team when I was playing. And uh, nothing like uh, having your first at bat against Kaylani Ricketts, right? Um, so I will just like, I'll never forget that memory and it's always really fun to go back and watch. But besides the fact, um, this, this first weekend in February always takes me back to those, those glory days, that fun, well, let's be honest, there was lots of ups and downs, but I had um, so many good takeaways over the weekend that I wanted to share with you. So here is, what it takes to play at the college level and things that I noticed that th these college level girls are doing. Um, so number one, your investment and your focus is everything, okay? I watched these big time teams play, Northwestern, Tennessee, ASU, Arizona, um, Utah, a lot of other teams. And what I noticed was that every single girl was the, every single girl that was on the field, so outfield, infield, pitcher, catcher, the the girls on the bench in the dugout, they were freaking dialed in, like dialed in, zoned in. And they're like, what does that mean, right? Um, they moved around each pitch, right? They moved around each pitch, bringing the energy to their team. They communicated with passion, not just like, oh, man, 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 like passionate communication, telling their team where, where to go, where, you know, where's the next play, how many outs there were. And then also, you know, you know, communicating with their pitcher and being support for their pitcher or whoever that was that needed support. They were set when the, when, uh, the pitch, when it was go time, when the pitcher pitched their pitch. And they were just, they were just ready to go, like ready to hit the gas. And you could just see it in their body and in their language and all of the things. So that was one thing, your investment and your focus in every single pitch, one step at a time is everything. Number two, your presence is powerful, okay? As I watched the, um, as I watched Northwestern play, because that's who I was watching most of the games, there was one girl that stood out the most to me. And it was, it was the third baseman and it wasn't because she had the most home runs. It wasn't because she was making the most amazing plays. Although she was probably more than capable of doing all those things. Um, it was, it, it wasn't about those things. It was, she was the freaking energy. She was the life, the heart. And you could just, you could see it because she walked around with a purpose, right? She had these big steps, these big confident steps, walking around, being energy, being life, bringing her team up. And she took care of her teammates. I saw her take care of her teammates constantly um, on the field and in the dugout. So um, your, your, your presence is powerful. Okay, and, and th this, is what your, this is what a coach wants on their team. This is what gives you confidence. This is what separates you from the rest. Okay, so your power, your presence is powerful. Number three is your perspective is your reality. I know you're like, ooh, so what is that? Your perspective is your reality. I watched a lot of girls rock it at the plate and I watched a lot of girls not 
rock it at the plate, <laughs> aka failed at the plate. And here's the thing, if you, are, if you are thinking that hitting is hard, it's going to be hard. If you start thinking that hitting is easy, right? Hitting is so easy, like I can get a hit off this pitcher, then you are going to be a whole lot better up at the plate because your perspective of how hitting is, is your reality. What you think and you say is your reality. Um, what you think and you say is what you believe. The girls that rocked it at the plate, girls who were getting hits, hitting home runs, hitting the ball hard, you could just tell by the way that they walked up. You could tell by their body language that like they were, this was easy and they were gonna get a hit no matter who that pitcher was. So that was, that was, a, that was a big difference. Um, so your perspective is your reality. Start thinking differently, okay? Uh, this is what it takes to be the best. This is what it takes to play at the college level. This is the what it takes to play at the next level and you, ha you can start doing this right now. So um, where, where can you get better? What are, what's one of these things that you could zone in a little bit more, get a little bit better at? Start working more at your practices so that it shows up in your games. So remember, one, your investment and focus is everything. Number two, your presence is powerful. And number three, your perspective is your reality. Okay. I can't wait to hear um, how these things go. The, like These things are so important. Again, I touched on it a little bit, but these are the kinds of things that college coaches are looking for. I want that person, I want that girl on my team that has, that does these three things. And that's how you're gonna stand out. That's what's going to make the difference for you um, between one girl and another. This is what's going to give you the, the end all results. Okay, so work at these. I can't wait to hear about them. Share this with your daughter, definitely. Um, and if you really wanna like dive up deeper, take things to the next level, um, uh, go find out more about my mental game mentorship because we are working on this stuff constantly. So go apply for that if you wanna get in and join and do it. Um, take your, th your game to the next level. That's where you go, pagetons.com. All right, I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day, bye.